Uh, two years ago, we had uh, uh, quite a very critical situation of in some of the Central European countries, Central and Eastern European countries. Uh, that also involved, of course, the Austrian banks, because Austrian banks are very active uh, in, this, in this region. And we had a number of uh, eminent American economists who always thought this might be the cause of a next uh, uh, big turmoil in the financial markets. In this situation, the Austrian government, together with the Austrian Central Bank, took an initiative uh, that uh, <coughs> was based on three different aspects. The first aspect was, of course, that you needed macroeconomic support. And this macroeconomic support, you see this uh, over there, uh, was uh, given uh, <coughs> by the EU and by the IMF. So some of the countries there have uh, IMF programs. Uh, so to have a stabilizing of the uh, macroeconomic side. The second part was uh, via the central banks, providing liquidity to the banks. And the third part uh, was that we had an agreement with the banks active in these countries to stay on board. So uh, not uh, kind of to follow the individual optimization and try to get out as soon as possible, because that would have been a way to disaster. And uh, it's quite interesting to see uh, on the right hand side where you have a comparison between different uh, crises uh, and the uh, exposure of banks. And you see that in fact we have achieved that uh, the banks did stay on board and therefore helped to stabilize uh, these uh, economies. And today, uh, Central, Eastern, Southeastern Europe uh, of course, there are some countries that are still some problem countries, but in general, this, uh, this part of the world is not seen any longer as a risk uh, area, and uh, we have had a quite a remarkable stabilis stabilization in this, uh, <coughs> in this uh, field. Uh, for the economists among you, it's, I think, an interesting example, and I'm going to use this in classes, uh, <coughs> as uh, s solving a prisoner's dilemma problem. So this is the where via coordination you can achieve better results than by following short-term individual uh, optimization. So uh, it, it makes sense to have uh, a, certain <coughs> a certain coordination uh, and it can help. Uh, and I think this is a good example for that. 